each other And even in this sinful world God says we're meant to be I must admit I'm not perfect I make mistakes Yeah, I miss the mark I fall down on my face and I pray Cause I am after my father's own heart Lord, I ask you for a man You say not yet and so I'll wait Patiently on my knees Till the one you desire comes to me Just met another like the one before And though he had a different name Did me wrong, told me lies Started to think they're all the same Why am I lonely? What's wrong with me? That's what I ask myself patiently on my knees till the one you desire comes to me. They ask me, do I own land? Put a ring on my hand. Do I own a house? Ever had a spouse? Do I have any kids? Do I have a job? How many women ask me, do I have God? I'm on a mission for my Lord. He's my one director. The only one who knows my own. We need some help, we make mistakes, yeah, we miss the mark, but together we'll work things out. Our God always gives us a choice. I meant to be, the Lord says so, he still reigns on the throne. Together we The Bible answers any questions you may have of a I don't understand women. Men are lying. Please, all women play those silly games. Uh-uh, every man I know is nothing but a cheater. Why are women such manipulators, Because right? men will say whatever they have to to get what they want. That's mm -hmm. why. All oh, women right. always got their hand out. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give oh. Always trying to use a brother. Mm. Give a man an inch, he'll take a mile. Give him a rope, he'll think he's a cow. <laughs> <laughs> you know, once a woman knows you're in love with her, everything changes. Why do I have to ask her? stupid just to get a man. Why do men need you to be nothing just so they can feel like they something? Mm. God gave me a brain and I'm going to use it. I don't care how many brothers are intimidated by my intellect. I refuse to act like some helpless little idiot just to get a so-called man. Oh, yes. Yes. You see, fellas, uh, women, they just don't know their place anymore. Oh, really? They act like they want to be a man. They need to let the man be the man. I'm the man. Yeah. Men are just no good. Every last one of them, especially you. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Women are a straight trip. You can never please them. Men are liars. Women are psycho, look crazy. Ah, uh -uh, men are lazy. Women are users. Men only hurt us. That is not true. Women act like they want you to step to them, and when you do, they get attitude. Mm. They throw too many mixed signals. Men are taking this submission thing just a little too far. Too, too far. far. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Too no. far. Women are scandalous users. That's not true, man. I like men. What? I'm looking for Mr. Right. Uh, <laughs> yeah, right. You're looking for Mr. Right now. <laughs> oh, I know you're not trying to clown. You're the same brother who said you're not ready for a relationship, but the truth is you don't know how to make a commitment. Oh, but you'll let a woman hang real tight with you, won't you? Wash your clothes, cook for you, then you turn around and marry somebody else. Negro, please. You, you, you know, not all men are what you're saying they are. Fellas, not all women are bad news. You guys can't judge all men by what some men have done to you in the past. You know what? I don't need a man. Mm. I don't even know if I like him anymore. Mm. How can you say that? Because it's the truth. I'm tired of being taken advantage of. I've decided I don't want to be hit, hurt, used, abused, and then dumped. That's I'm right. sick of putting up with their crap. Mm -hmm. Women! To get on my nerves with all their silly games. 
It's enough to turn a brother gay. Oh. Oh. Time ain't got that bad, bro. I'm just saying, I can see, you know, how a brother might want to, you know, slide on over to the other side because of the women. No, yeah. I'm not with you on that one, dog. How does that old saying go? Women, you can't live with them, and you can't live without oh, them. Oh, no, yeah. 2000 version, bruh. Women, you can't live with them, and you can't smoke them. <laughs> My mother always used to say, never give a man your heart because he'll take advantage of it. <laughs> My mother used to always say, if you love him, set him free. If it was meant to be, he'll come back to you. Yeah, right. How many times have you seen that work? Mm -hmm. You set that brother free, he gone. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's why I listen to my grandmother. She always said, if you love him, set him free. And if he loves you too, he'll come back to you. And if he doesn't, then you hunt him down and you kill him. <laughs> <laughs> Women in the world, Christian men act no different than men in the world. No, you, that's not true. You're judging all men by, by a handful of jerks. Oh, one bad apple can spoil the whole basket, bro. Right. How can you judge all sisters the same way? I can judge them all the same way because they're all cut from the same cloth. As Christian brothers, we're not supposed to be judging each other anyway. Oh, you all can be holy if you want to, but the facts don't lie. Women are users. They say they want love. They're always asking for money. They say they want a sensitive brother. But if you cry in front of them, they call you weak. <coughs> um, <clears throat> bruh, you ain't supposed to be crying in the first place. I wasn't crying, actually. And you really ain't supposed to cry in front of a girl. Oh, I wasn't. Sensitive? I say he's acting like a what? Oh, <laughs> Daphne, please, explain this to me. If I work, pay my own bills, basically take care of myself. Right. Why should I have to submit to some brother just because he happens to be born with male parts? Amen. I'm a whole person all by myself. I'm a strong black woman, and I'm tired of every man I meet needing me to act like I'm not. No, mm So the next brother who can't rise to the occasion uh -huh. must need to step. <laughs>
Remember, these ladies are our sisters in Christ. Hey, we want to talk to you guys. Yeah. We want to talk to you guys. Oh, well, we got a few things to say to y'all, too. Yeah. So talk. Ladies first. Age before beauty. Hey, fellas, we get to go twice. Yeah. <laughs> 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 get married one day but I got a problem I'm only interested in Christian women but that's not the problem the problem I have is when is it okay to approach a sister right I don't know either I've been checking this sister out of my church for a while sister bad fine all that I asked everybody I knew if they knew the sister because then maybe I can get an introduction you know get introduced nobody knew so I decided to hook myself up I just catch her after service. Mm-mm. Sister girl be moving fast. As soon as the door's open, like a crackhead with a rock, pow, choom, she out of there. So I decided to sit next to her on the first Sunday. And I waited till it was my turn to pass the communion tray. And that's when I put it on. I said, hey, how you doing? Listen, you still hungry after that bread and wine? Then maybe you and I can go down to Denny's, get something for $2.99 on me. You ain't got to pay. <laughs> I thought that was the best pickup line in church. Man, that girl looked at me like I had just smacked her mama or something. Oh, wow. Man, that was the very last time I tried to talk to any sister. I don't know how to do this Christian dating thing. I don't know when it's the right time. But if you ever figure it out, let a brother know. Because I give up. What 
are you waiting for? I gave you the look. The nod. The smile every time we make eye contact. My girlfriend and I have even engaged you in conversation. I know you're interested. So am I. You want me to make the first move. Well, that would be no. It's not going to happen. Not even in Y3K. And you want to know why that's not going to happen? Because then you'll think I'm just jocking you or... God forbid, I'm desperate or something. Approaching the gentleman may work for some ladies, but not this one. I believe the Bible when it says, He who finds a wife finds what is good and obtains favor from the Lord. Don't you get what I'm trying to do? I'm trying to get you some favor. I'm trying to hook you up. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not. I repeat, I'm not trying to marry you on the first date. I'm just selecting you some data, like you should be trying to do too. You certainly have been together for quite some time now. Yes, we most certainly yes. have. Hmm, just how long has it been? Well over three months now. You think he'd know by now that I'm the one? Oh, you so certainly should. When you tell the woman that you've been dating for over two years, that you have something really, really important to tell her, you do not go getting her some stupid basketball game tickets. Christian sister in such a hurry to get married. I'm scared to look at a woman for too long for prayer. I might have to marry the girl next week. Now, don't get me wrong. I was not blessed with the gift of celibacy, so I do want to get married one day. But that's one day. Mostly, the brother just wants to look. Mostly. Now, brothers, back me up on this. Some fine sisters going to church nowadays, ain't it? <laughs> and one thing I do appreciate is a good-looking woman. But, um, y'all church women? Y'all? Y'all are straight desperate. Hey, 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 whoa. I ain't talking about all of y'all. So don't go writing over on the brother. But, um, some of y'all, some of y'all are just so mean, so clean. Girl, how you get my address? Straight desperate. Sisters, rule number one, stop asking me what my intentions are on the first date. I don't even know yet. I'm just trying to get to know who you are. Better yet, I'm trying to hear from God about who you're going to be in my life. You say you want a praying man, sister? Then let a man pray about it. And you pray about it, too. Because if my intentions aren't real, God will definitely tell you. Just like he'll tell me if you're the one. Let me just set the record straight, okay? I am in no way desperate. Yes, I 
would like to get married someday. Yes, all my friends are married with children. And yes, my biological clock is ticking. But that does not mean I'm desperate. Get the stuff. True desperation is I'm, hmm, they met unsaved. Brother that asked me out. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Um, true desperation is, is seeing that brother on the side of the road with the, with the sign that says, we'll work for food. True desperation is taking him home and cooking him that food. That's what it is. True desperation is introducing him to my mama, taking him to church with me the following Sunday in the suit I bought him, pushing him on down there by the aisle to get saved, and then starting premarital classes with him the following Sunday. That, my friend, is desperate. See, um, true desperation is just a... Uh, not waiting on God. Now, uh, I love my Lord, and, and I believe he honors the sincere desires of our hearts. And, and if it's uh, my sincere desire to marry, then, then I believe he can hook that thing up. God, God can do that. He can, he can, he can do that thing. And, and, and if, uh, if not, if he, if not, okay, um, I haven't thought that far yet, but it's okay. Because I, I said that, that I want his, his will for my life. I, 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 I said that, and, 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 and I meant it. I, I meant it. I, I want his will for my life. And uh, so I'm, I'm going I'm gonna to wait. That's the, that's the new thing for me. I'm, I'm going to wait, and, and, and there's nothing desperate about, about that. Yeah. I'm not a doctor, a liar, or a famous entertainer. No, man. I'm just an average guy who works hard to drive his 92 under in the parking lot. It ain't a glamorous life. I may not win this year's finest man in the world's contest. I don't have a Porsche or a big house in Malibu. I never have those things. But what I do have is worth more than all those things put together. I have a close and personal relationship with Lord God Almighty, see, and I may not be able to take you out to the chicest restaurants or the Hollywood premieres. <laughs> nah, man, I can't put a five-carat rock on each of your fingers. But I know the Lord. I'm a child of the King. Why am I not looked at as a good catch? Because let me tell you, I am. <laughs> and not, that's not arrogance, it's truth. I have a job, I have a checking and a savings account. I'm a praying man. I have much respect for women. Love and get along with my mother. I'm responsible, debt free, 